I play Santa Claus uh, for the kids at St. Finbar. Uh, one of the things that amazed me when I came in here was my Santa suit looks like it wasn't even touched. I just bought it and, uh, in the beginning of October. My name is Mike Rodriguez. I'm uh, a member of the community here. Right now we're standing in between Brown and Herring Street right on the corner uh, with the volunteer workers. A lot of things that need to be done in this community. We need to have our people fight to get our homes raised so we won't have to go through this devastation. I'd rather lose a basement than everything. When the water came up and actually pushed this right up, okay, this is my trap door for the basement. Pushed it right up, lifted up this refrigerator, which is not uh, uh, an old one. You can see where the water level was. The water level is right here. Yeah, FEMA came in uh, a week ago, said they'll get back to us uh, in seven to 10 days. I have heard from FEMA. What they sent me was the applications for loans. If I can get good credit from my banks and things like that, my loan will be rate will be 6%. If I have crappy credit and I can't get loans from the banks, it'll be 3%. Uh, which I, I, to me, I, I don't see the justification there. The water's not clear over here yet, so I'm just running the water for about two minutes. One of the ladies over on Herring Street was telling me that the, she was getting salt water out of her line still. What the people are being told from the insurance companies are, if they had hurricane insurance, that the, their eligibility isn't any good because the storm was downgraded to a tropical storm when it reached land. So I've been telling people, when you apply for things, tell them it's not flood insurance, it's the sewers backed up. You, if you're in here, you can smell it. Well, I've been coming back and forth uh, every day since the uh, storm, even the day after the storm. I haven't seen media coming down here at all. Uh, pictures that are being taken are just being taken by the people that live here so that they can send it to their relatives and let them know what really happened. You see fences and things that are down. You can go up to the end of the court over here and see one of the decks that's across the walkway. I had uh, one of the kids at the school, I'm a school crossing guard, they gave me a little uh, a little turtle about this big around. Mm -hmm. I call the turtle Goliath now because he's about this big around. When I came back, even though it was still about two and a half feet of water, mm -hmm. I went inside, the fish tank was turned, tilted. There was still some fish in there, but they were dead. When I reached in to see if I could find the turtle, it was there. When I pulled it out, he just tucked his head and everything right in. I washed him off with fresh water. My son had his Jeep up on uh, Brown Street here and I gave him the turtle. I said, do me a favor. When you go home, take the turtle with you. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, it's one of those great things that happens, you know. Right. Occupy Sandy, I think, I think the volunteer groups that are doing things here right now are doing a terrific job. I mean, I, I was pulling stuff out of my house yesterday. I only got one room done, but Within 20 minutes, they had all that stuff pulled up to the street, and then they were working on a neighbor's house. Volunteer workers that came over here and helping out and giving them food and flashlights and little things that we don't have, it's, it's a godsend.